Hey everybody, I'm Eric from the team at Pangolin. Today we're doing a quick tutorial on how to connect to our Songbird decks, how to do a swap, how to provide liquidity, and how to farm that liquidity. So we will start by going to app.pangolin.exchange. Here you can connect to the wallet. The top right, we'll use MetaMask. And I've already got some Songbird in here. You can see I have 40 SGB. You'll also see it show up in this portfolio widget here. Uh, to swap, you're going to go over to the side menu and click swap. And it'll start with a default pairing of SGB and PSB. If you want to switch tokens, you can click on the token and get a drop down. All our whitelisted tokens. If there's a token you want to swap that's not in there, you can paste the token address in the search bar right here. Today we'll do Songbird to PSB. And we'll start with 25%. Um, so you'll see here at the bottom, it'll give you a few things. The minimum received is going to be 5.5 PSB. Price impact, which is how much your trade will impact the price. So if there's a very low liquidity on the pair, or if there is, if your trade is big enough to impact the price, like say there's only $100,000 of liquidity and you're trading for $99,000 worth of PSB, it'll show you how much it will impact the price. So when this is green, it's normally good. When it's red, it means you have a higher impact than normal. Um, and then you can see the liquidity provider fee. So anybody who provides liquidity gets 0.3% of the fees. Um, and it'll show you how much will go directly to them. So to swap, we'll just click swap right here. Hit confirm. It'll ask you to confirm the transaction and show you your estimated gas. And if you want to view it on the Explorer, it'll give you a link right there which will take you to the block explorer and show you that we traded for 5.59 PSB and it took up 9.9 .9 songbird. All right. So now if we go check our wallet, you'll see that it took out the PSB, but are the SGB, but you won't see the PSB in there. So we're going to import the token, but first we need the address. So you can go to docs.pangolin.exchange. Uh, you can go to Flare Network, Songbird Network, Security and Contracts, and then hit Contracts. And at the very top, you'll get the PSB token. We'll just copy that over, head back to the app, and import tokens on MetaMask. And when you type it in and go to the next one, it'll automatically fill it with PSB. So you hit Add Custom Token. You can see what my balance would be there. And now your MetaMask will show both the Songbird and the PSB. So that's how to do a swap. Um, we could easily swap back if we wanted. But now we'll go to creating liquidity. So we'll go to pool and farm. Awesome. So you can see all the standard farms we have right here. Um, these are like the ones that were that have average APR. That means that emissions from the decks are going there. So. We have a token supply that's greater than the circulating supply right now. Every day, a certain amount of tokens are emitted, and those go dynamically to certain farms. So that's where the APR will come from when you are putting your liquidity in a farm. But before we do that, we got to add liquidity. So since I have Songbird and PSB, I will go to add liquidity right here, and it'll give you the option to type it in or hit max. There's got to be an equal amount of each. So I have uh, more Songbird than I have PSB. So if I hit max on PSB, it'll automatically show me 50% of each. And so once we get that in there, I will hit approve. It'll ask you to confirm the transaction for a very small amount. Once the transaction is confirmed, you can hit supply. And it'll give you what you'll receive. So we're going to deposit. 9.9 .9 SGB, 5.5 PSB, and those will be combined into 7.4 PGL, which is the name of liquidity tokens on Pangolin. It'll also give you a share of the pool. So that's what percentage share of the pool I will have. We click give order and it'll take us again to confirm the transaction. Awesome. And now our liquidity has officially been added. So you'll see right here, a button will come up to add to the farm. So right now with just the LP tokens, we'll still earn fees on any swap. So that liquidity provider fee we saw in the swap widget will actually go to your liquidity. So when you take it out, 
Uh, whenever you decide to unpair your liquidity, you'll, those fees will be deposited to your account, but you can also earn extra tokens when you farm. So if you click add to farm, it'll automatically take you to deposit it to the farm. So you can choose how much of your LP you want to add. We're going to do 100% and it'll give you an estimated amount based on the current APR of how many PSB I'll be earning. So we will click approve. Confirm this transaction. Now the transaction's approved, we can hit deposit. And it'll take us here again to confirm the transaction. Awesome. And now if we've successfully staked our liquidity. And so there will be some prompts in the APR that will give you information. Uh, with Sunshine and Rainbows, our new algorithm, your stake will start at 0% APR. And the longer you stay in the pool, your share of the rewards will keep increasing. So if we want to check on our rewards, we can go to see details. And it'll give you some information here. Currently right now, the way our uh, indexer is working, it's going to show your stake is $0. Uh, that is a bug that we will have worked out soon. But it will show you your underlying stake. So it shows I have 9.9 .9 SGB and 5.6 PSB. And then above, it'll also show you uh, like the entire pool's amount, which is great. And when you start earning emissions, you'll see them here, earning rewards. So you have unclaimed PNG. It should say PSB. That's another UI bug that we're working on right now. Um, but you have a few options with your farm. You can claim your rewards, or you can compound your rewards, or you can remove your PGL from the farm. So when you claim rewards, it will automatically reset your APR to zero, like it did when you started, and then it'll start back over. Uh, if you compound, it will create a separate stake position, uh, which will start at zero, but your original position will keep at the APR it's at when you compound. So you'll see in the UI, it'll say your APR. If you compound, it will show you an average of your two stakes, um, and that will change depending on how long you hold both of them. Uh, I'm going to go through removing right now just to show everybody the flow of getting into a farm and getting out. So if you click remove, It'll show you and you can just click withdraw and claim. Uh, just remember when you remove it, uh, you'll get back your tokens and then you will have to unpair them. So click withdraw, click confirm. Awesome. So liquidity has been removed from the farm and the rewards have been claimed. I earned probably a fraction of a fraction. So now that the LP tokens are unstaked from the farm, we just need to unpair them if we want our tokens back. So we'll X out of this widget. And then on the left here, you can see the your pools. So when you click in here, you can see I have 7.4 PGL tokens. I can click remove and approve. It'll ask for a signature there. And then as soon as that's approved, you can click remove. Confirm that transaction. And voila, your liquidity has been removed. You can click here to view it in the Explorer if you want to understand a little bit more about what happened. Uh, you can see the 5.5 PSB and then the 9.9 .9 SGB have been put back in my account. And what it does there is it'll burn the 7.4 PGL tokens I had and then return back the original tokens. And if I go back to my MetaMask wallet, you can see right here, I've got the PSB and the Songbird back in my wallet. So that's the basics of swapping, creating liquidity and farming. Uh, we'll do some more deeper dives as we go along, but if you have any questions, you can always reach out in Discord. Uh, thanks.